Hello student, welcome back. Welcome to the one more session of uh, ARM. In this session, I am going to explain ARM 7 pipelining. So, first of all, what is pipelining? Pipelining is nothing but dividing the instruction process into different part and overlap it. That is called as a pipelining. Dividing the instruction part into different uh, like uh, uh, process or dividing the instruction into different part and overlap, overlap it. That is called as a pipelining. Now, what is the use of pipelining? The use of pipelining is uh, it will improve the performance. ARM7 TDMI based processor makes use of three stage pipeline. Now, what do you mean by three stage pipeline? Sub, uh, it will consider how the process takes place, how, how, uh, how the instruction will be executed in non pipeline processor. The instruction will be executed something like this. Like here, you will take five instruction I1, I2, I3, I4, I5. Five instruction. First instruction will be pushed. First instruction will be decoded. First instruction will be executed. After that, second instruction will be patched, second instruction will be decoded, second instruction will be executed. After that, third instruction will be patched, decode and executed. After that, fourth instruction will be patched, decode and executed. After that, fifth instruction will be patched, decode and executed. So, each instruction will take three uh, cycle. So, total cycle required to execute five instruction in our case is 3 into 5. That is nothing but 15 cycles are required. 15 cycles are required. Now we will see uh, the use of pipeline in ARM, how, ARM, ARM will, uh, how the pipeline in ARM will improve the performance. Now, now in ARM, first instruction will be patched, decoded and executed. It takes three clock cycle. When the first instruction will be decoded, second instruction will be patched. When the first instruction will be executed, second instruction will be decoded. When the second instruction will be in executed, the third instruction will be patched, second instruction uh, like the, uh, the third instruction will be decoded. So you can see in the normal processor, it's like a patch, decode, execute. In ARM, first it is like patch, decode and execute. After that it is execute, 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 execute. That means first instruction will take three cycle. After that, every instructions will add one cycle. Please remember this point. First instruction will take three cycles. After that, every instruction will add one clock cycle. You can see here when the third instruction be executed, uh, uh, the fourth instruction has completed two stage and it is ready for the execution. When the fourth instruction being executed, the fifth instruction has completed two stages and it is ready for the execution. You can see at any clock cycle, you can see ARM works on three instructions. Here you can see execute, decode and uh, execute, decode and uh, patching. It works on uh, like uh, three instruction. Now, ARM adopt streamed pipeline. Streamed pipeline means uh, so in any particular clock cycle you can see here, you can observe here, it ARM works on three instructions like execution, decode and fetching. Three instructions simultaneously. Now ARM adopts, as I said, a streamed pipeline. Streamed pipeline means execution takes exactly one, one clock cycle, decoding takes exactly one clock cycle. Patching uh, takes exactly one clock cycle. Like patching will not interfere decoding. Decoding will not interfere interfere execution. For example, if you see think like uh, this patching takes two clock cycle, then uh, decoding will, will get blocked, and this will in turn uh, uh, affect the execution. This has got cascading uh, effect. This will uh, kill the pipelining. Pipelining. So that will not happen in case of a uh, in case of uh, ARM because ARM adopts streamed pipeline. Here you can say execution cycle like patching takes place exactly one clock cycle. How it is possible? You see ARM, you see one minute. ARM makes use of a 32 bit address bus, sorry, data bus. 32 bit data bus. Second one is a 
all the instruction 90% of the instruction in ARM excluding some few instruction 90% of instructions are 32 bit instruction so instructions are 32 bit all the instructions are of same size and data bus size is also 32 bit that means the patching will take patching will take i can say patching will take exactly one clock cycle i can say patching will take exactly one clock cycle you can guarantee similarly now we'll move to the second point what is the second point second point is decoding so we know this is this is related to patching so let me write here this is related to patching so now decoding so in decoding second point is decoding so arm instructions are very simple so we know arm adopts risk based instruction reduce instruction set what do you mean by reduce instruction set there will be there there won't be a multiple forms of instruction for example if you take uh, uh, this one uh, 8086 and other uh, processor intel based processor uh, there will be instruction for add ax comma bx like see there is instruction there is instruction for something like add uh, ax comma uh, uh, like 2000 as i said in the earlier video like there will be instruction like if the if you are using carry uh, like uh, add with carry there will be instruction for uh, register adding there will be instruction for memory adding like that there are multiple instruction for uh, multiple form of instruction for single operation here single form of instruction like there the here the, in the arm there won't be a multiple form of instruction so arm instructions are uh, simple if the instructions are simple then means uh, op code is simple if the op code is simple decoding becomes simple decoding becomes simple decoding becomes simple other than that arm makes use of uh, hardware uh, hardwired execution unit so arm makes use of uh, hardwired execution unit what is this uh, this is faster this will try to execute the decode the instruction uh, in one clock cycle compared to uh, micro programmed execution unit uh, uh, in other cases in other cases means intel processor that's why decoding also takes place one clock cycle and finally execution third one is execution so execution also takes place one clock cycle because in arm 90 percent of the instructions are executed in register only two operations will be carried out in memory what is that two operation load and store 90% of the instructions are executed register. All registers are 32 bit size and all instructions are 32 bit and register operations are faster than memory. You can guarantee that uh, uh, like uh, execution will take place uh, in one clock cycle. Almost all instructions except some uh, uh, few instructions, all instructions will take place execute in one clock cycle. So my dear students, I can say here. Uh, like even though ARM execute three instruction in one clock cycle because it can it can execute three instruction in one clock cycle because all instructions are streamlined properly that is the advantage of ARM pipeline so you can say the three stage ARM pipeline three stage pipeline of ARM is equivalent to six stage pipeline of uh, uh, intel processor what do you mean by that three stage pipeline performance is equal to six stage performance of intel three stage performance of arm equal to six stage performance of intel that is the one thing you have to remember second point you have to remember is uh, what are uh, see uh, advantage and disadvantage what do you mean by advantage and disadvantages so advantages of this one is uh, see advantage is uh, it will improve the performance we know advantage advantage of pipelining is it will improve the performance as i explained now second one is a disadvantage is uh, is something called as a pipeline bubbling pipeline bubble what do you mean by pipeline bubbled pipeline bubbled means sir uh, One minute. Yeah. What do you mean by pipeline? Pipeline bubble. 
pipeline bubble means ARM7 ARM7 fails when branching instruction comes when branch I, I, I mean ARM pipeline fails when branching instruction comes so let me explain you this one so here you take the cycle the where execution will execution of second instruction will be take place is being take place simultaneously decoding of the third instructions and patching of the fourth instruction will take place here after execution of the second instruction in the execution of the second instruction suddenly branching if suppose that if there is a branching then whatever work done in the pipelining in advance like decoding of the third instruction and patching of fourth instruction is a waste when the, if the branching take place then it has to go to the some other location and once again it has to pass the instruction decode the instruction and execute the instruction that means uh, this is a waste and this is called as uh, uh, pipeline bubble pipeline uh, bubble in case of arm7 so arm7 pipelining fails when there is a branching instruction uh, uh, but this is uh, this is very uh, this is very low like it is like 90 percent of the time uh, there won't be a branching instruction 10 uh, percent of the time only there will be a branching instruction uh, uh, same thing if you compare it in Pentium processor they use a branch prediction uh, but in ARM case uh, there won't be any branch prediction uh, so ARM7 fails in the case of uh, ARM7 pipelining fails in the case of uh, branch instructions so this is the, the this is the whole uh, process of uh, pipeline now how pipeline works what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages thank you